Hi, this is Lux, and I want to take this time to go over some of the uh, features in, under the analysis section of Regroover. Um, I was a little bit mystified by it at first, and the Accusonus video they put out uh, helped clarify it for me. But my little brain had to think of it differently than it was described or it's labeled here. And so I thought I'd share that with you um, in case you are also a little mystified by it. So in a previous video, I had set up a regroover onto four separate tracks and placed them in a group. So let's listen to that loop. Now I'm going to solo layer one. I'm also then going to solo layer two. All right, so right off the bat, you can see some transients in layer one that line up with transients on layer two. So that tells me that I probably want to merge or move the audio from layer one over to layer two. So you select the eraser tool, and when you do that, I've already uh, created two sections. You just simply double click, position the uh, kind of transparent blue area, you can expand it, make it larger, smaller, and just select in the middle, drag it. I'll do that for this last transient here. Now it's very important that you lock the layers that you don't want the audio moved to. So in this case, uh, I'll lock layer three and layer four. When I hit split, I kind of name that in my head as a move button. I'm going to move this audio from layer one to layer two. It'll reanalyze, it is gone. So let's look at layer two and layer three. I can see some transients in layer two lining up with the kick drum in layer three or on layer three. Let's listen to layer three by itself. All right, now layer two. Okay, so if you remember what we did before, let's lock layer one, lock layer four, and now let's use the eraser tool, select the audio on tr uh, layer two that coincides with the kick transients on layer three. Let's hit the split, or as I call it, the move button, and let's move that audio over. Now, if we listen to layer two or solo it. Okay. And layer three. If you want to get really picky, see, I can see a little bit of audio information directly underneath the transients on layer two uh, on layer three. So I can then select that information or audio. Let's do that. And then I'm going to move this. Nothing's changed. These two are still unlocked and four and one are locked. I'm gonna hit split. This little bit of information, audio information will now move to layer two. Okay. Now, finally, we can go to layer four uh, look at that, the transients there. I don't necessarily see anything. Well, I'll take that back. I can see some on layer one lining up with layer four. But I think you get the uh, gist of this. I could, you could really clean up these uh, individual layers and get exactly what audio needs to be where on uh, each of these lanes, so to speak. All right, there's one thing I want to make sure you understand regarding this split button off to the right. If I make changes, let's say I take uh, layer three as I've done here and I make the kick drum mono, so let's listen. On layer four, I've panned it hard right. Layer two, let's pan that hard left. Maybe not. <laughs> and then we'll leave layer one alone. Okay, I'm gonna hit preview, stop that. If I decide to take, for example, the audio on layer 
four. Let me unlock that and we lock layer two because what I'm going to do is select this transient here um, that lines up with the kick above. Actually, I'm wrong, which is not surprising. Let's unlock layer one instead. I think that lines up with uh, some information up above. Let's do that with here. This is just to show you what happens. It's not critical. We'll do it to this, and we'll do it to that. So remember my settings, mono, hard right, sort of hard left, and then uh, left layer one alone. If I take the audio, which is unlocked on layer four, and layer one is unlocked, uh, layer two and three are locked, and I hit split, or I'm now moving these, this portion of audio up to layer one, you'll see everything resets. Uh, that might be intentional by the developers or not, it might be something they address. And this is obviously just a version 1.0 uh, piece of software, which is exciting because it has a lot of room to grow. But I just want you to be mindful of that because if you spend a lot of time, as I have, uh, playing with this and you've gotten some settings exactly where you want, and decide to transfer some audio from one place to the other, uh, what you've done will uh, be reset. I think this is an awesome plugin. Or uh, it's really encouraged me to start making tutorials, and hopefully, I'll get better at it as time progresses. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.